What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Heather L'Oreal, and welcome back to my channel. First things first, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I install crochet faux locks into my hair. This is my first vlog ever doing a get ready with me, so if you want to see how I achieve this luxurious look, then stick around. child my hair is super duper dirty thanks to my work schedule i've been rocking a ponytail for two weeks but i'm gonna start with washing my hair with some tresemme shampoo for damaged hair nothing too fancy it's just what i like to wash my hair with and i'll also be conditioning my hair with some tresemme conditioner for damaged hair Alright y'all, so my hair is nice and washed, and now I'm about to go blow dry it. Please pay no mind to those stringy ends. I used to perm my hair, but I'm too afraid to do the big chop, so I'm just gonna let it grow on out. So let's get into all those ugly faces you make while doing your hair. You ever paid mind to like the nasty faces you're making while you're trying to blow dry your hair Ooh, i'm giving nothing but straight ugly vibes but it's all right because when i'm all done my hair is gonna be so laid i'm using just a regular blow dryer it doesn't have a really really high temperature so it's not too much heat to damage my hair i'm just gonna blow dry it all out and then i'm gonna head back to my room All right, so next I'm gonna grab some wild growth oil and I'm gonna apply it all around my edges and throughout my scalp to ensure that my hair is nice and moisturized. It's so important to have your hair moisturized underneath braids or underneath any kind of protective style because of course, when it's protected, it gets super, super dry. So I'm just gonna rub that all through my hair. Okay, so next, I'm going to create a part down each side of my hairline. And I'm also going to create a part around the back of my neckline. I'm going to take these parts and I'm going to braid them into plaits all around my hair. Now to braid these plaits, to start with, I'm going to be using eco boost edge control now let me tell you something i saw this edge control in a lot of videos and i just thought it was something that was popular but boy this edge control is no joke so i'm going to take my small tooth comb and i'm going to create a nice size part and then i'm going to apply some of my edge control and I'm going to begin to braid that part into a plaid. I'll be doing this all around my whole hairline. Now just so you know, you don't have to braid each plait all the way down to the end because you'll be taking these plaits and you'll be connecting them into your first braid. So about an inch is good enough. Now 
All right, so I'm gonna continue by creating plaits across my black neckline. And these plaits as well will also be connected into our first braid. All right now, all done. Are we still looking a hot mess? Yes, we are. Now I'm gonna finish up my plaits on the top of my head. I've decided to do a side part on the left side. Left side's always my favorite side to have my part. Now, these plaits are gonna create an illusion that I actually have individual locks in my hair. Now we're moving on to our first cornrow. Keep in mind that as we are creating this first cornrow, it is important that you create space while bringing each plait up into the braid. It's really important that we do this correctly so we create that illusion for our crochet locks. I'm taking my time and I'm gonna try to braid it as small and as tight as possible. And after I get maybe a centimeter or two into my braid, I'm going to start pulling up each plait into the cornrow. Now as we're finishing up our cornrow, I want you guys to remember as we're doing each cornrow, connect each braid. Because we're gonna crochet that up into the back of our hair, I'm probably even gonna sew it down so I can give the flattest look as possible. I will say doing these braids was so time consuming, but I'm almost done now. So I got about two more braids down to the back and I should be all done. Boom, check that out. All right, so next I'm grabbing my wild growth and I'm just gonna apply it one more time throughout my scalp just so I can get the spots that I probably didn't get as I was massaging it through my scalp. I really just wanna make sure my hair is nice and moisturized. All right, so really quick, I just wanna show you guys the type of hair I use. I use the Free Tris brand, Wavy Gypsy Locks in 18 inches, and 1B and Ombre 30. I also use the accessory clips of Angel Wings and some Elephants. And lastly, I'm gonna use this gold wrap to wrap around a couple of my locks. Next, I'm just gonna take this needle and thread and put it together and kind of sew down um, my crocheted up part of my hair because it just was a little sticking up too much for me. So I'm just gonna sew that down real quick. So now I'm applying my locks into my hair using my crochet needle. I would suggest you space out your locks. Try not to bunch them all up together too much into the back because of course you're gonna run out of hair. These locks are thick, these locks are full. It's a full look. So take your time, space them out, and try to place them a good section apart from each other. Now I'm gonna continue this color of 1B throughout the whole back of my head and then I'm gonna start applying my ombre color in the middle. Let me tell you, this actually doesn't take too much time at all. Most of my time went to braiding my hair, but applying these locks through crochet throughout my hair, it, it took me 
maybe 20 to 30 minutes well keep in mind i'm filming this for you guys so filming it correctly took a little bit longer than i expected but all around this is a quick and easy fast look say hi to my son you guys he is so nosy anyway back to finishing up this look I've started to apply some of my ombre locks into my hair and I'm getting closer to the front and I am pretty much almost done how exciting is that look at that Sun you guys that Sun is kissing my forehead through the window <laughs> It's really hot outside and I believe the sun is setting soon so I got these big windows throughout my house and the sun just shines right on in All right, y'all, we are finally reaching the finish line. I just have a couple of more to place in, and then I'll be adding in my accessories. Oh yeah, and I'll also be laying down those edges. Ooh, ladies, are you feeling this look so far? Are you feeling this look so far? I am. I definitely am feeling this look. All right, so boom. I'm going to start working on these edges using my edge booster, and you don't need much of it. This stuff is strong and will have your edges laid. Hey, now don't come for me in my comments because I'm definitely no beauty queen. I just do the best that I can do to look the nicest that I can. All right, so the first accessory that I'm adding in is my gold string. And I'm gonna use my crochet needle so I can get the string through the root of the hair so it stays in. And then I'll cut it and I'll twist it down and then I'll do a couple of more throughout my hair. Now I'm gonna add some of my gold clips throughout my hair. They are so fly. Look, it's an angel wing. <laughs> I also have these bomb elephants that I'm also gonna place through my hair. Yeah, brush down those eyebrows because they're about to be fleeky in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I am all done. I am so loving this look. It is giving me black girl magic, Afro chic vibes. It is just so fabulous. It's long, the color is pretty, the accessories are hidden. Ooh, and it is giving me hot girl summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my first get ready with me and I hope that I can do more. Please hit that subscribe button. 
leave a like, share a comment, and I'll be back again serving you looks all summer 19. It's your girl Heather L'Oreal, and I'm out.